Bienvenue to Le Café Craft. Today we're doing this little beauty. Now, what are you going to need? Well, to start with, because you need a million of things, to start with basic, you're going to need one of those, some of those, some of those. I got two. You know, just in case. Scissors, ruler, envelope, and, okay, of course you're going to need ribbon and stamps and blings and all kind of stuff because we're going to make it from beginning to end. I'm going to try to be extremely concise, right, so we don't cut and glue forever. I mean, at least on camera. And you're going to need maybe like, a, you know, like something to a score. All right, we'll see how that goes. But anyway, here we go. So, this is how that works. Okay, well, of course, you already know you're going to need some ribbon, right? And it goes like this and like that. In order to go like this and like that, you're going to need three envelopes. We're going to keep this on the side so we know and we can refer to it, you know, as we're doing things, right? Right. So, hold on, hold on, let me put this here. Let's change everything already. All right, so we get this here. We're going to keep referring to. So, here is the first envelope. This envelope is, because I know everybody wants measurements, so here we go, is four and five eighths. Seriously, okay, an envelope, right? And, of course, this one is going to be the same thing. It's going to be five and five eighths. In any case, you take an envelope, whatever that is, right? Envelope number one. You need envelope number two. Now, envelope number two, if it's a good envelope, I'm going to explain you why it will be a good envelope, is if you can actually insert this into there, like so. In this specific case, it works. But you will find out a lot of time it doesn't. Because if you take another envelope, which is smaller, for example, I'm going to make that example so you don't even have it, not an excuse not to do it, is you're going to go like this, but as you can tell, it's not going all the way. But we can still work with that. And we're going to work now. If it fits, great. If it doesn't, we're going to make the one which doesn't. So this way we can see how we can work with that. Okay. So I'm not going to use that one. If you get one of those we fit, which fit this, this is great. Which means the length of your envelope will be the same that this envelope, except it will be smaller. Yes. Yes. All right. We're putting this on the side. And then you need another smaller one, whichever shape you have, right? Because this one is going to go on top of that one. Yes, yes. All right. So first thing we do is we take the big one. We open the big one. You're going to need eventually a fish knife. If you don't have one, get one. You know what? Christmas is coming. You guys should ask. I, I sure hope you're having a, a craft supply list somewhere. You know, like people don't know. And then you end up with a scarf when actually what you needed was like, I don't know, new scissors or a cutting board. And make sure everybody knows what it is that you want. All right, so we're not doing that forever, but we want to open the envelope. Come on. One side. I don't want to pull on it because I don't want to rip it. Okay, this idea is from... A YouTube channel called, okay, I mean in English or in French, I cannot, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Jacent Journals. And everybody's wondering what I said. Let me write it. J-A-C-Y-N-T-E Journals. This is the name of a flower, so you know, okay? And the lady's name, I think, is Cynthia. But I, I will put it in the description box below. And this is pretty cool. All right. So, this is what I got the inspiration. Here is the envelope. It's like this now, right? So, what you're going to have to do at this point in time is you're going to have to grab a whole bunch of paper. 
which preferably are going to be in kind of matching tone, whatever you have handy. But what I like to have done and all the patrons are going to be able to vouch for me on that is to use all kind of different papers. All right. I think that's the fun of it. All right, so all kind of different papers, little cut out because you got a small envelope. We got to cover all the envelopes. So either this size, that size, and of course this size, right? So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna cover this, 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 and this. How are we gonna do that? We are gonna trace. All right, so for the front, I decided, see, you're going to have to decide which paper you're taking, right? So for the flaps here, which are going to be those flaps right there. See, I got a little music thing. I'm going to put a little bit more music stuff, right? So I'm going to do this and this with this paper. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trace it. I mean, you can measure it, you can do whichever way you want to do it, but I don't want to spend the whole day, so I'll show you what I'm doing, and then you do it your way, right? So pretty much I have to cut around here. I'm going to show you why I'm saying that. Because the bottom one, you want it to flip the right way, right? Which means this one is going to be this way, but I want this one to also be facing up, right? Right. Don't forget that if you get like a, you know, some kind of print which has a up and down. So I'm putting it here and I'm tracing it here. Yes. Yes. So I have this and that. Now, you pick another piece of paper and you do the same thing for here and there. Yes. And then you take another piece of paper. Watch. See, the inside is different. Right? Right. And then the back. Let me take this off. And then the back is also different. Right? So we're covering this, 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 and this. I'm going to cut. I'm going to glue. And then, uh, you know what? Before we do that, hold on a second. Before we do that, because you're going to glue your paper, you are going to score about nothing but like an eighth of an inch on each fold, right? Because you are going to put stuff in it. Let's not forget. So it's going to get thicker. So about an eighth of an inch, you score. I cannot see anything at all, but you know what? Hoping for the best here. All right, and now I have two score line. Maybe you can see them, maybe you can't, but I do have two score line. And then this way, it's not going to pull when you fold it. Yes, so we're doing that for here as well. So like eighth of an inch. About, I mean, you know, you leave a little bit of space, preferably straight, which is, as we know, not that easy all the time. All right. And then you score it. I mean, so many things is gonna, are going to happen to that envelope, right? So don't, you know, don't sweat it because it's going to be all covered up anyway, right? Okay. Now I got two score line, right? I got this one here, this one here. We're doing the same thing here, same thing here. About eighth of an inch. And scoring it. On the long run, it makes your life so much easier because when you're gonna fold it, right? You're gonna put things in it, you're gonna fold it. See, you wanna have some room, right? You don't want it to be like all squeezed in. We don't want to be squeezed in. Oh, we we getting into that project. Okay, this is a little project, right? It's like, I mean, like no big deal, three envelopes. The amount of things you have to do in order to accomplish this project is just mind boggling. And I say that because I make I made 20 of those and 
I had fun with the papers, though. I got to say, no, nobody has the same one. I use different configuration of papers on every single one of them. That's, I mean, that's what is fun. You can, you can make so many of them and not one is going to look like the other one. All right. So now you have an eighth of an inch score everywhere around your envelope. You already cut this and that. So those are going to be for my front. I'm going to pick another paper to do the back right here and another paper to do this right here, okay? And as I'm doing that, I know for a fact that my favorite editor had that little trick up her sleeve where you actually turn the page. You know, it looks like you turn the page and miraculously everything is done. That's exactly what we are gonna do. So this way, you don't have to look at me cutting paper all day. How about that? We are gonna be turning the page. Okay, so we covered those, which are gonna be all on uh, the front, right? Then, Okay, I did in, I did the easiest way, right? Which means I glue and then I trim around. I mean, that is definitely gonna be the easiest way to go about it. This way, you know, it is covered for good, okay? And the reason we start with those and that we're gonna kind of stop gluing at this point is because we get to put the eyelet in. So the thing is, I like better to put the eyelet in now because just in case I mess it up, then I only have done that, right? Then otherwise you mess it up and you get, you know, if you make them at the end and then you get to redo the whole thing. I don't think so. So we kind of get the middle of that, like so. Take this, we put a little mark here. We do the same thing the other way around. I mean, if you use like, you know, paper like this, right? You don't really have to uh, worry too much of which way you are gluing it, pasting it, because it doesn't really matter. Now, if you start to have print, then you got to be a little more cautious. Okay, we're doing uh, this. All right, so one here, one there. We're doing that thing. Ooh, I got, I got new ones. I got those. Those are pretty cool, aren't they? Mm -hmm. That's a different color altogether. I like it. Hopefully, they get in good. Let's see. That's good. All right. You know, like sometimes you're not strong enough and they wiggle in. Sometimes you're too strong and they're like totally smushed in. Whatever. All right. Hold on. Base, 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 base on base. Just like that. Just like that. Okay. So now we're done with that, right? We can put that stuff away. We don't, we're not going to need it again. This, this, done and done. All right. So now we got this, right? Oh, wait a second. This, this way, like this. Okay. So we need to address this and that. This is this part right here, right? The little flip-flop thing. Okay. So the little flip-flop thing, you can make it as big as you want or as you know, figure out how much you want. See what happened is the reason there is this is because when you fold it like this, right? And that goes on the top of it, then you can actually, if you wanted to, put a little cord in here, you see? And then you hold, right? That's why you get the little flip here. If you don't want to flip here, I'm pretty sure you can cut it off. But, you know, wh why would we do that? So, I say I'm going to go to three quarter. Let's do three quarter. All right, so hold on. Okay, now you get to realize that okay, this is going to be your right hand side. If you get printed stuff, right, make sure it's... The right way. Okay, three. All right, so I'm gonna have this on the top. It doesn't matter. Whichever paper you have is the paper you have because it is gonna be everywhere. Anyway, we're cutting this. We don't need this. 
All right, and could have been way straighter, obviously. I don't think I have three quarter of an inch now, do I? All right, we're gonna cheat. That's okay, we are gonna totally cheat. So, but honestly, put an inch here because we're gonna cover it anyway. So straight or not straight, it's not really gonna matter. This side here is gonna go in this envelope here. Now, as we can tell, that doesn't fit in, right? Right, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go this way, try to have about the same here and there and make a little mark, make a little mark here, a little mark there, and then you're gonna cut this. Cutting. Cut the inside the line, right? You make a straight cut. What was the story with this one? See, it was not. So you just cut, right? And like, who is to say? Did you even notice it? No, you didn't. See, that's how that works. All right, so let's see if that will now. This is gonna be way, I will actually fit all in, but that's obviously way too much, right? So you see where, okay. Take your small envelope, right? You see here? See here, see here, right? Okay, so you don't need to insert all of that in it, part of it. So you line up with this fold, yes? See what I'm doing here? Line up with this fold, right? And this is here, right? We wanna go a little bit more in. So let's say right here is where we are gonna cut. And this time we're doing it Straight. How about that? All right. And we cut like this. Now, this should fit in here. If it doesn't, that's okay. We just gotta sliver it. It's a little snug. All right, let's take some of the snuggish out. And a little bit here. Now, hopefully you get it all right from the beginning. Not like me. Look, I got another little piece here. Okay. Let's see. And now it fits, right? And this is going to go here. Oh, it says Patricia here. And here is going to go this way here. So while we add it, we do this, right? Now we are gonna cover this and this. We're gonna cover this a little bit later on because we're gonna have obviously to adjust, but this we can cover it with, what do I have here? All right. Okay, pretty much you trace, you cut, you glue. Makes sense, right? Done and done. All right. Okay, so we covered this, not this, this, right? And then we cut it, which means that when we insert it in here, right? There's enough to cover this, this opening right here. Yes? Yes. Okay. So now we can see this is good. We're going to have also have to cover that, but we're not there yet. Now this side here, so no matter which dimension you cut it on, Right? You're still gonna need enough to cover this, right? Because this is gonna be your flap going this way. So I think this should be enough. So that really depends on the, the height of your envelope. In any circumstances, this is, this is about one and a quarter, right? So I'm gonna glue it here. See, we can always fix things somehow. I think I'm gonna need better glue for the duration of this project because we're not done gluing paper. Okay, 
So whatever width you need, cut your width, right? But because we are covering it, you can always stretch it. Yes. And then you cut, you can cut it straight too, or like a, in a kind of a little angle. And then you do the same thing the other way around. And then this way, you have the width that you need. I should have left more. But anyway, the more you left, the, the further it goes in. See what I'm talking about here? So that is a good way to uh, stretch it. We're stretching it. Stretching. There we go. And then... We do the same thing again. We follow previous cut right here, this way. Round. Okay. So at this point, we get this done, that done. Now we need another piece of paper to cover this. We're not covering this yet. We need a piece that's going to be this size. And I'm going to use uh, some kind of very light cardstock. And I'm going to trace it. Because this one, we're going to do things to it. So if you trace it, and let's not forget you get an eighth of an inch, right? So you get to cut inside the line. Now the, the paper I'm using, the, there's a whole bunch of them. Those are like papers that I have around. I mean, in all honesty, I wouldn't know where they come from. You can, you can make copy of your master board and use that if you wanted to. You know, whatever, whatever you have available, you can use a whole bunch of scrap. Make sure you can, you know, close it, right? And that looks kind of way better. All right. So at this point, you're going to have to edge. And while we're edging, I want to say a few things first. And that's very interesting. And I'm really, really counting on everybody to give an honest opinion is the, this is the question i have a patron hi april who wants to know what is the best printer to get ha ah, i wish i knew that all right so you get inject you get laser which one in those two categories is the best i know the um, a lot of people are talking about the whatever it's called echo print from epson i have myself an epson but that's not that's one with regular cartridge i don't really care for it seriously i don't really care for it but i mean i cannot say that it does the job and furthermore it's the workforce so which means you can do you know bigger format i have a vintage brother as everybody knows or well, almost everybody which is i don't know 15 years old but you know what does the job so that that keeps on going. That's one thing. No, anyway, put in the comments, you know, what works for you. It's a little bit it's like this is not edging now. It's like going all over because I'm pretty sure somebody out there has a printer that they're very happy with and like. There you go. So you get to edge, 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 edge edge everything there is all right here we are gonna slide the envelope but we do have to edge the sides right okay so now we have this thing here let's work with this i oh, know we're not gonna work with this yet we're gonna work with this this is gonna go like this so we need a piece for that uh, we're gonna use see I like to use a a different one for all the one that I do because this way you know like every time you turn it or flip it it's, it's a different you can use very contrasting color if you want to you know make it like cheerful and bright if you want to make it for the holidays you can use uh, you know bits and pieces of uh, older wrapping papers that you know you accumulate year after year after year and put a nice little card in there 
or something. Whatever, right? We just put little, little trees, little snowman. Okay, hold on. Now, which way am I? Eiffel Tower up. I'm doing this. You know, already I lost my uh, train of thought. All right, it's all nice and snug in here. Good, good. Okay, so now you trace again, right? And same thing, you're gonna have to cut inside the line, right? Right, because it's gonna go like this. All right, so before we do that, we're gonna take this. You get to etch that top right there. Okay, now we're cutting inside the line. As good as you can. Done and done. Edging. Oh, I'm sure all that is gonna be all speed up. I'm telling you, this is like, oh, this is just little level of that you get. This is all, this is the amount of places that you have to put paper is really interesting. All right. Bienvenue to Le Café Craft. You kidding, kidding, kidding. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I'm throwing off the editor. <laughs> All right, so my camera turned off. That's okay. Nothing really big happened. All right, this is done, right? And this is, I did this part, you know, the, the little flap. Do not cover this part. I did that little flap here. Now, we just put that on the side for a second. And there is still the other little envelope right there. But right now we're doing this part right here. Again, if you get an up and down, make sure you up and down, right? Okay, now, in order to cover this, I strongly suggest you take cardstock, right? Or if you're using paper, something a little bit th sturdy. The reason is, is we gotta put this thing here. Hold on, let me... Okay, see this piece of material. You can use lace, you can, you can use anything you want. You know that, I know that, you know that, you do your things, right? Okay, so we're gonna put it like, see, now this is the reason why we put eighth of an inch all around because plus the thickness of the fabric, you need to be able to close it. Now, once you measure it and put it in, make sure it can close. It's perfect. I didn't hear anything at all. We're crafting by sound. Ha! Who would have known? All right. And we're gonna glue it right here. But before we do that, we're gonna put this. Now this, now again, this is the way I'm gonna put it on. You put it on whichever way you want, as you know, right? I'm gonna put one like this and one like this. So it's not, you can make them straight if you like straight, you know, whatever you like. And then it's going to go like this, in the back, like this, like this, and like that. Right? Right. Okay. So in order to do that, first we do the first one. The first one. So what I did before is, well, first of all, kind of cut a little bit of the too much here and anchor these down. Am I too low? Oh, maybe, hold on. Let me do that and I'm gonna go back up. All right, backing up. Okay, I'm just gonna have, uh, I'll get a little paper clippy here. And then I'm gonna stretch it on the other side. Cut a little bit of the too much. And glue, glue, glue. Okay, I have a your clippiest thing here. Okay, now here I'm gonna cut a little bit in an angle, move the clip up and give a little return here. That's all right, even if you don't have enough of the return, it doesn't matter because the other one is gonna be, the other one is gonna be lower, so it is gonna cover that, right? And I'm gonna put another clippy. 
like so. Okay. Right? Right. Okay, so you kind of let it dry a bit. While you do that, you can try to locate little brads if you want to put little brads, which I am going to put little brads. Okay, so this one, I put three on one side, one on the other one. You know, whatever you want to do. You can put little, you know, jewelry stickers or little, you know, if you're making it fancy, you can put shiny, okay, one and three shiny little brads or whatever. Or no brads at all. How about that? Right? Right. Okay, so we get that. Going here, we're gonna need a pokey. Do I have a pokey? We will find out soon if there's a pokey available somewhere. I'm telling you something, I just don't see it. But anyway, we figure it out. Okay, and then you put the second one like so. So now the second one is gonna go lower and I kind of put it kind of straight, right? And I locate like this. Good, good, right? Right, flip it, flip. Now we're gonna do this side first. We're gonna need more clippies. I'm gonna, oh, hold on. I'm gonna do this first. Right, so I don't have a whole return here. Oops. And then while it's gonna be drying, I'm gonna look for my pokey because I just don't know where that pokey went. Yeah, I'm gonna let it dry because I'm gonna wanna stretch it. And I'm gonna look for my pokey and I'll be right back. Okay, found the pokey. All right, it stays right here. This is, should be kind of dry. So I'm stretching it a little bit. Uh, actually, if I'm stretching it, I might as well keep the clippy. Okay, got the uh, overflow like so. Keep this, got this part here. I mean, it's not like I measure anything before doing it, right? It's like, it's like real crap. <laughs> we cutting as it goes. All right, let's stretch it. Put some glue here. So again, right? It's, oh, it's so simple. It's some little envelopes we put together. Well, you know, the more you get in it and the more you realize that there's a lot involved in it. I mean, in the sense that, well, first of all, I think the fun part of it, okay, what is the fun part of this project? For me, the fun part of the project is you can do whatever you want, but I thought that finding all kind of different papers, right, for every single piece of envelope, front, back, inside, and everything, is kind of cool. But, you know, then again, what do I know? I thought that was... And then we have so much scrap anyway. Matter as well. All right. Can we have something making sense here? Yes. Yes. All right. So, glue, 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 and then clip, 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 right? I am just putting glue everywhere. Done. Done. Like this. I'm going to have it all over my fingers, starting right now. Done. I mean, that is the back, right? It's not like anybody's going to look at it. It's going to be glued down. Okay, so now we wait for this to dry. Hopefully it looks like, yes, it looks perfect. Okay, so we got that. Now, while this is drying, you can take envelope number three. So we got envelope number one, envelope number two, envelope number three. And now this one, you're gonna have to cover this, the inside here, and the back here. Ha! So that, again, we need like papers. So, okay. I don't know how your envelope is gonna be, right? I know for a fact, if you look at mine here, it's got those little things popping up. I, I'm not gonna cut paper to that extreme, right? So I'm gonna cut this right here and make it like a straight, uh, straight cut right here. Yes, yes. 
So I'm going to do just that like right now. I hope I explained myself properly, but because then it becomes, I mean, already it's a little bit intricate. Then it becomes like, really? How many days are we spending on this thing? Here, same thing here. So, you know, when you cut the other way around, it's not exactly the same because, because it's the other way around. I think that's why. See, this one is going to be easier. All right. Cutting here. So now we need something for the inside here. You know, the, the whatever is going to pop out. Something for here and something for here. The first thing you do is edge. If you're edging, you have to edge. Okay, so edging. And there's, you know, no matter what, okay, this we don't care about, I mean, we don't care, we do care, but we don't really care about that. Edging. All right, so now you get to pick one paper, two paper, three paper, and it's got to kind of match a little bit with this and match a little bit with that, right? Because this is going to go here, right? Which is why I said don't put anything here because then you're going to cover that side. And actually, I'm going to edge also on this side here because it's a lot easier to uh, edge before it's all glued in like this. See, like this, and it's going to fold like this. It's going to be like that. So this pretty much outside here. This is the only thing you need to edge is this. Yes, yes. All right, I'm going to find my papers. I'm going to cut them out and we are just gonna glue it together, right? Right, okay. All right, so I cut, you know, whatever scrap of paper that I have here. So I'm gonna put this on here. Inside, I'm gonna put this put like a page of a book right here. And on here, I still don't know because I have clocks or, see, this is where everything goes wrong. Or I have a choice, so this is gonna take a while. Or I have bees. Should I put clock or should I put bees? Because see, I'm gonna put a flower in the front, so maybe I should put bees. That's what I'm getting out of that, right? I'm gonna put the bees. All right, so now this here, obviously has numbers, right? I'm gonna put them on the side. If you have something with an up and down, you have to remember where is your up and down on the back here, okay? Otherwise everything is gonna be like, you know, not making sense. So, because this is gonna flip like this, right? So if you got any lettering or anything saying anything that you want, you know, to be able to just look other than twisting your whole head around just remember that and your flip has to be on the left right so we're just gonna glue this on that i think don't tell me i got to sliver because i thought i did all the slivering i had to do i think i'm good okay well, we're just gonna say it's good how about that i mean we are that good that i'm gonna put it right on the envelope right right so gluing this like so done done goes right here i'm doing it right 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 yes yes Whew. Whoops. all right so i got gluing first. all right so i got this now here i got this little piece goes in here i took this right you see i have a straight cut so it makes it so much easier. I put it on here and then I took this, which uh, up and like this, was able to slide in here and make a little thing here, right? Right. I mean, you don't have to. It's like, actually, some of the envelope I made, some some I did, some I did not. So, so same here, you glue, glue, glue. Now, that doesn't have to cover the whole inside of your envelope, right? You can go like a third of the way. And we slide it in, line up with the top here. Done, done. Ooh, this is cool. Okay, I say we're doing the bees. Bees up. We're gonna have the bees up. All right, bees up. 
I'm not gonna go all the way to here because I'm, I cut it a little bit taller. So I have, you know, like a neat. That's a little piece of cardstock, by the way. That's not, or you can put paper. It's just like I had it, you know, I had that little piece of thing here. Didn't know what to do with itself. So I might as well put it to good use here, here, and done, 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 done. Checking if we're not gluing the whole thing. Nope, we are not. All right, now this is gonna go in the back of this, like so, right? So we need something to put on here. And then we are gonna glue this on that. All right, so now we need a piece of paper for this, okay? So here, I'm gonna put this. Yes, yes. All right, so now we get to kind of like, uh, you know, line up thing. Middles here, middle of this is gonna be right here, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to put this with that, match my two-year mark. I'm about good, right? I mean, this is not like to the inch, to the, the tenth of an inch. I'm gonna put my glue right here. Okay, don't go all the way to the, uh, to the edge, right? Because you know, you, you're gonna need like a little bit to swivel, the swiveling. Here, here, where's my little mark? Right here, my little mark right here, like so, right? Make sure you can close it, right? And then smoosh it in. Yes, yes. Are we good? We are good. Done. All right, erase the real mark. All right, so that, you do not have to do that because this goes in here. What am I doing? Can I take it off? All right, so you do not put anything here. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'll just get carried away with those things, okay? Because this is gonna go in here and now it's pre-glued. Ha, how cool is this? All right, so this is gonna go here. This is gonna go like this and this is gonna go like that. Now, in order to go like that, you're gonna need to put this on. Yes, yes. Goodbye, Patricia. Good, good. See, now this is where you get to edge, edge, edge. Really good, good, good. Because, because you just cover all imperfection, which is why edging is a good thing, as we know. All right, look at that. See, now it's like supposed to be like that. Good, good, good. All right. Now, I could glue it this way, but I want to make sure I'm not going over that that swivel because then your paper is gonna curl up i mean i don't know if it makes sense to you but if i do it like that i know i am just gluing only where i need because see if i glue too much at the edge my paper is gonna curl up how do i know that hmm let me think I think it happened to me all right, now are we doing this? See, this is the thing. If I talk while I'm doing things, I'll just get carried away. I mean, either in the conversation or in the cutting and gluing. Either way, things happen. And then you're not done because then you get to decorate. Oh my God, this is crazy. I know, it just take a day to make one of those. I am not kidding. It will take you, you... Don't uh, make sure you got your whole afternoon in front of you, okay? I mean, let's put it this way if you bored, this is the craft you want to do because before you know it, it's gonna be dinner time <laughs> when you have seen nothing of the day. All right, so this is here, this is here, this is here. Now we still have to glue this in place, even though I already had glue in there, but you need. You're gonna need to glue it, okay? So this flip here, right here, you gluing. And you put as much glue as you want on this flap. Don't go all the way to the swivel part, right? To your scoring line. Don't go all the way there, because you get to make sure it is gonna be able to, you know, fluctuate around, right? And then insert, push down, how much do you push down? Well, I'm gonna tell you how much you push down. You push down until this flips up. See, this has to flip over. So you get to make sure everything is upside up and then you slide it in until this fold right back 
properly on this and then you push it back a little bit okay so now you are good that's how you know you're good okay okay so this flip here which is like wiggly and everything all right it's gonna need to have glue for like like a good quarter inch yes because this way is gonna add like a paper clip and you're gonna be able to give me a give me a card here any card so you're gonna be able to put something in it right and it's not gonna go anywhere yes yes right so right here you gotta have to put a qu about a quarter inch you know that little round thing from your envelope just do that part and the same thing when you're gonna glue it you get to close it so this way it takes don't go all the way to the edge either right you know no glue on swiveling part because otherwise okay so what you're gonna do is you're gonna put that together here you're gonna take this and you that's how you don't glue it all flat because if you glue it all flat like it was before then you're not gonna this is gonna pull right here Adam. okay you take my word for it yep yep all right so we good now while all of that is drying folded right this goes this way by the way i'm gonna put something on there oh i got my cafe craft bam cafe craft cup right there okay all right so what we're gonna do is put the little brats on here right pokey i found my co pokey earlier all right for some reason i'm gonna put three here and one here why i don't know so i'm just gonna poke three of those and hopefully they'll be somehow lined up all right and i'm gonna put my little guys in there like so one two three I mean, I thought that looked cool. Two. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, now, this cup out of the way, and this is gonna go in here. And not everything glue itself to, Ooh, oops, oops, see? I know because that happened to me previously too, okay? Make sure that, you know, things don't get like all glued up. All right, and this is gonna go here. Now, does this close? You get to check. Yes, 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 yes. Perfect, all right? So that's why you get your eighth of an inch all around, right? If when you close here, it gets too high on the top here, well, sliver, you know? Look, watch me slivering. Okay, so this way it doesn't pull. That, that's all you get to do. And you know, every time we cover envelope and things like that, anyway, we kind of sliver all day, so, right? Okay, and then you just glue this here. Done and done. All right, gluing. And we are putting glue. I mean, don't go all the way to the edge. Same thing, right? Because you don't want to go in those scoring line here. Now, this one you can glue flat and then put something on top of it. Okay, it goes like this, like this, like this, and like that. You know, just figure around. Does it close? Yes. Close. Does it close? Yes. Does he close? Yes. Does he close? Yes. Okay. Well, that's going to be the spot. Done and done. Okay. So pretty much you check everywhere. There's everything is covered everywhere. You get to find a cool little ribbon. A ribbon. I thought I used that. Right? Because, oh, that's what I wanted to do as well. In the front, I wanted to put a flower. I kind of like that flower thing. Hold on. See here. All right, so I'm going to put a flower right here. And then you're done. You can, uh, then after that, you use your stamp, your bling, your, well, you know, whatever you want to add to that little envelope construction thingy. I don't even know what we should call it. I have no idea. I got to have to come up with some kind of uh, name for it. I don't know, three envelope phone or something like that. Well, anyway. All right, 
now. See? Whoa, that is cool, right? And then I thought I used this for that. Yes, yes. Why not? All right, so this is gonna go here. We are wrapping it up. We are wrapping it up. Okay. Now, before we kind of finish the little beauty here. Yeah, don't forget in the comments to put for the printer, all right? Because I'm curious. I mean, I am actually extremely curious of who does what with what, okay? And I know you guys do Digikit and or you buy digital online. So what do you print it with? Okay, because that, that will be, I think that, that will be really helpful for everybody, you know? That sure will be. Okay, now, ribbon. Okay, so the ribbon, I'm pretty sure you can weave it in between and go like this, but I wanted to do it like you open it like, do you know what? Again, whatever you will like to do, you do. How about that? Okay, so you do it whichever way you want to do it. And then... All right, so that's how, that's how I did it. What I was trying to say was you can take a long piece of ribbon, right? And then, you know, tie those two things together, right? But I didn't do that. I like better to be able to uh, just open it without undoing the ribbon altogether. I don't know. Ribbon, ribbon, ribbon. What? That thing here. Ha! <laughs> I'm making a knot. That's another hard word. Uh, all right. Here we go. This is one and two. Or you can, uh, if you're doing it uh, really raggedy, you can also, you know, like tear some fabric and give it a, you know, a more rustic look. Okay, so here we go. Now, let me show you all the stuff you do, right? So you get, you, right here, you can add a little thing like this, right? Or a little, a little strip or nothing at all for that matter. But you can also do that and be able to tuck some little things in here. Well, those are your little ephemeras. So you can put them in here, right? Like so. Here, same thing. You can put ephemeras right in here. You know, whatever, whatever you want to do, whatever you want to give. Pretty much, because you sure can put a whole bunch of stuff in those. I mean, you have you have three envelopes, right? So now, here, what I did is I put a little piece of fabric and a little kind of like a little angel face, but I put a little bling here, I put a little stamp here, so you can totally decorate here. Here, you can put again, you know whatever you want to put in here, here or there, and then you can put all kind of little things in here, right? So it goes like this, and then like this, and then like this, and then like this, and like that, and then... And then you can take a card, like maybe this one here, Right, so let's take this, right? And if you want to add a little note, like I did, you put your little card in here, and then it slides right in here, and then this way. See, that's why it's nice to have the, the fold over, and this way you don't lose your little card, right? And then in the back, you can put, then you can put your little postcard. Bam! just like that, right? So that's what it is. That is the three envelope, what you may call it, fold together. Have fun. Use use all the little papers that you have everywhere because this is gonna take, see, see it's gonna take you all day, but it's fun, right? Okay, uh, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Next is Big giveaway. I'm finishing it all up. I'm going to do a flip through how to go about blah, 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 how to make it. Comments on printers. We really want to know what to use. What else? Uh, well, happy crafting. Happy making. Bye.